In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reverse the spinning direction of the cordless Dremel models 8240, 8220 and 7760. For these models, it is a very simple fix. We just have to open up the tool and change some connections. The process is basically the same for all three models. For the corded models and the cordless models 8250 and 60, it is a lot more challenging to reverse the rotation. But doing this will definitely void the warranty. So do this at your own risk. To reverse the rotation of a Dremel, we need to open up the tool. Start by removing the battery. On the light you cannot remove the battery so make sure you don't turn it on while tinkering. Then we take out the screws that holds the tool together. It is usually a Torx 8 or 9 screwdriver. Some models also have a pin at the back that we need to remove. Now we can see the motor assembly. At the back of the motor, you will see two wires that are connected to the motor with a metal fitting. We need to remove these. Grab a tiny flat head screwdriver or a small set of pliers and gently disconnect the wire. The metal discs will bend easily, so do not use too much force. Some of the fittings also have a lock that you need to bend up to get it off. When the wires are removed, we simply lift up the motor and turn it 180 degrees. Then we place the motor back down into our Dremel and gently connect the wires again. And that's it! Now we can assemble the Dremel again and it should be rotating the opposite direction. Now I can finally sand without the dust spraying into my face. And left-handed people can also use the Dremel the way it was intended. This rotation will also transfer to the flex shaft. But we need to be wary of some things when using the Dremel in reverse. When cutting metal, you will sometimes experience kickback. When running the Dremel in reverse, the kickback will happen in the opposite direction. Normally, the kickback would go into your right hand, so it is easy to control. But now, the kickback will go away from your right hand. So it might be easier to lose control of the tool when this happens. The durability of the tool might also suffer. All of these models use brushes. These brushes are used to running one way. When we reverse the direction, the brushes might run less smoothly against the commutator and increase the wear in the brushes. But this is just one of my theories, so I cannot say it for sure. Some of the motors have padding, so it sits perfectly in the casing. So it might not always sit as perfect when you turn it around. How you use the tool will also change. Normally, we would use the tool from right to left, or with a movement towards us. When changing the spinning direction, we would now use the tool from left to right, or with a movement away from us. When for example wood carving, the advantage is that the dust will blow away from you, but wood carving with a push stroke is harder than wood carving with a normal pull stroke. It is also easier to accidentally hit yourself when using the Dremel in reverse. If you're holding a piece like this when wood carving, the Dremel will naturally want to travel towards your left hand. And that is how you reverse the rotation of the cordless Dremel rotary tool models 7760, 8220 and 8240. See you next time!